Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to enforce a business rule in SharePoint and in Kanban Task Manager for SharePoint in specific. The business rule that I'm going to use as an example is that before moving something to complete it, I want my employees to fill out how many minutes they put in work on that specific task. So we're going to do that. And it's Quite a few steps, but it's a really powerful technique, so it really helps to learn that. So I'm going to go into Site Contents and find the underlying list that manages the, the tasks. And of course, this is the KTM task in my case. So I'm going to go in there and find the columns there down here. And I'm going to create a new column, and that's going to be hours worked. And that's going to be, or actually, let's put it to minutes. And that's going to be a number, and the default number of decimal places should be zero. All right. So I'm going to press OK there. Of course, I want this to be mandatory now, but only right before they close the task. So I'm going to do that with a workflow. And um, I'm going to create a workflow. So I'm going to open SharePoint Designer to do that. Open the site. It's the same site that I was working on. I'm going to go into my lists and libraries, find the KTM tasks, and there I'm going to create a new workflow. There my workflow, create a new one, and verify time work. So that can be a SharePoint 2013 workflow, that's fine. And then we're going to go to the end, at the end, Go to end of workflow. I'm going to go into workflow settings and set this to start off automatically when an item is changed. That's as it is. And I'm going to go into the edit of the workflow, put in two conditions. So first of all, I'm going to check if the status of the task, the task status, is indeed equal to completed. And then I'm going to put the cursor in the right place inside this if statement. Do another condition and select if the uh, minutes worked is zero. In that case, I'm going to first reset it so that it's now no longer completed. So let's do that. I'm going to update the list item. I'm going to set the task status to in progress because it's not completed until I've filled out the number of minutes worked there. So then I'm going to send an email. I'm going to send that to the person that last modified the task. So that's going to be a workflow lookup. Modified by, and I get the email address for that person to address the email, and then we're gonna and modify the subject, and then we want them to enter the minutes worked for this particular task name there, like that, and then to make it even better to work with, I'm gonna add a link there also. Click here, and then I will do the simpler version here and get the workflow context and get the current item URL. So we're going to click. All right, so we're done with our, with our workflow. We have our conditions, we have our actions, we have our end of the workflow, and we have it set to start automatically when an item is changed. So now I just need to publish this workflow, and of course, then we need to test it. So very soon now, I will go into my um, Kanban Task Manager board here and do something that uh, violates the business rule that I just set in. So this, file the papers. I'm going to drag that over to complete it and wait for a few seconds. And then I will go into my mail and open that in a new tab. There we go. You need to enter minutes for file the papers. That was the one I did wrong. Now I'm going to click here to open that one. 
you see that this is no longer completed as I set it to be, it's in progress. And so now I can edit this and uh, set it to um, be completed and fill out the minutes worked. 25 minutes for doing that. And let's go back to the board and refresh this. And there you see file of papers is there. If I open a task and set it to completed like that, and it's worked 15 minutes, of course, and then I save that. There you go, now it moves over. And of course, I won't get an email about that. So that shows you how to enforce a business rule in Kanban Task Manager for SharePoint. Thank you for watching this demonstration.